Hi everybody, um, this is just a short video to show you how to use Google Docs. So when we were in the classroom and we were using a word processing package, we used Microsoft Word. But not everybody will have access to Microsoft Word on their uh, laptop or on their phone. So I just want to show you how to use Google Docs, which is very, very similar. Okay, so a few different ways of opening it, but the handiest is to just open up your Google search page. And up here on the right hand side, you'll see the link to all the Google apps. So we've got this little square with all the, with nine squares within it. So you click on that and you see all the different Google apps. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see here there's one called Google Docs, so it's like a blue page. If you click on that, it will open up Google Docs for you, which is a free word processing package. Okay, so it's just opening here at the moment. So if I want to start just a brand new blank document, I can go over here and just click on this blank document with the plus sign on it. Okay, and basically this opens up a blank page the exact same way as it would have opened within Microsoft Word, which we used in the classroom. Okay, so I can just start typing. You can see my cursor flashing here. And I can just start typing in. I need to get rid of that message. I'm just going to take and got it. And I'm just going to go. So this so I just type as I normally would when I want to go down to the next line I just press enter like I normally would and it brings my cursor down to the next line now I can format my text within Google Docs, very similar to how I would format it in Microsoft Word. So before I can change how my text looks, I need to first highlight it. So I can click and drag to highlight it, the same as I would in Microsoft Word. And up here, I've got some of my formatting tools. So if I want to put it in bold, I click on B and you can see how it changes. If I want to put it in italics, I click on I. If I want to underline it, I click on you. Okay, so text is now bold, italics and underline. As it is a heading, I might want to make it bigger. So the default font size is 11. Let's say I want to make it size 14. I click on 14 from the list. Maybe I want to change the font type. The default font type is Arial, but if I click here beside the word Arial, I see a list of all the different font types. Now you might notice there's not just quite as many here as in Microsoft Word, but still there's lots. Okay, so let's say I choose the font type of impact. And next, because it's a heading, I might want to align it to the center of the page. So over here are my alignment buttons. By default, the left alignment is selected. But as it is a heading, I might want to center align it. So I click there and you'll notice that the heading is moved over to the center of the page. Now, if I have a lot of text, I'm just going to paste some text in here. And let's just make all of this the same size so that it looks a little bit nicer. Okay. Just to demonstrate the justify text. So a justify text aligns our text so that it's even on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So if I select all of this paragraph, for example, and I click on the justify button over here. So this is the one with the lines even on both sides. And if I just click there, you'll notice how the paragraph is tidied up and there are straight lines to the left and to the right. Okay, now, if I want to save my document, okay, so, to name my document, up here you'll notice that it's called Untitled Document. 
let's give it a sensible name. So I'm going to click here. I'll delete whatever's in the box and I will call it Traces Backend. Okay. And once I click outside the box, it is saved. Now, the important thing to notice here is that it didn't ask me where I wanted to save my document to. So by default, all the documents are saved to our Google Drive, which is saved, if you like, on the cloud. Okay, so it is not saved to our computer or to our phone, but it is saved to our device, which means if we were on a different phone or on a different uh, laptop, we could access it. Okay, so it is saved to our Google Cloud. And I will show you in a little while in the next video how to access this document if you wanted to attach it to an email and send it to me. Okay, so I hope all of this makes sense. Um, and I will send you an email on to practice typing using Google Docs. Okay, thank you.